Hi Cancer, this is your November 2020 tarot forecast. So this is for Cancer Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. So what does Cancer need to know for November 2020? Messages for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What does Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus need to know for November 2020? Messages for Cancer. All right, guys, let's get out your Celtic cross for you. See what comes up. Lots of really nice fire energy. Oops, <laughs> in the present moment here for you. We do have two knights. Hold on, can you see these? We have two knights opposite each of each other here, both as the foundation and crowning. There could be an element of um, an apology here or someone coming in having to say something sweet or this is you having to say something sweet. You could also be dealing with two young men, um, Cancer Scorpio Pisces or uh, Gemini Aquarius Libra. This does indicate fun and enjoyment as well for the first two weeks of the month, it looks like there could be some lightheartedness, which is nice to see. Yeah, and some healing energy here at the end. There could be a reuniting between um, two old friends, two old, I would say this is a deep connection here. I consider the Six of Cups to be more of a soulmate or a love interest than I would of a peer group. I would consider that to be more of the Three of Cups. But you know, this can be a group of friends or a group of people um, who wanted to reunite, have a past connection, but it certainly can, all the sixes can be uh, partnerships or coupling. And because the fool is opposite here, mirroring it, I should say, um, it could have been something that had to do with a leap of faith. Really nice energy, really nothing difficult here for you. Ace of Swords, as you can see at the bottom of the deck for the whole month's energy for you. Really gorgeous energy. I do see some healing happening at the end of the month, possibly a wish fulfillment here as well. So, and, and a really nice new beginning. Um, lots of sun, lots of Leo energy. So absolutely positive, gorgeous messages for you. So this is clarity. This is a clarity of mind. There is a mental victory here for you. There's also mental acumen that's available to you here. There could be a lesson that's been learned. There can be um, new information that is not just only provided to you, but it has been, um, you know, uh, assessed and it has been um, enacted <laughs> upon. So um, also anytime we're dealing with an ace, we're dealing with something brand new. So this is a new discovery, a new sense of yourself. Um, like I said, information that you are able to uh, incorporate into your own life. But this is also very likely speaking a truth as well. We do have some sort of, <laughs> I do find the nights to be a little bit flighty um, just because they come and go, especially this night of uh, air up here, swords as it were. This is sort of flighty, coming and going, pretty rushing energy, but it is mirroring the night of cups, not the night of wands, for example. So. I would just be aware of messages here, what's coming in that you or someone else is sharing um, around the situation. So the King of Wands here, and it is, the challenge is a sense of loyalty and creative adventure. So, you know, this could be a Leo individual, but any fire sign is gonna be represented here, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, and this is mature energy, this person wears their heart in their sleeve. This is a really generous person or personality. I would say if this is if you're a man watching, this is you. This is who you want to be or what um, you would like to be seen as. If you're a female watching, this is sort of what you would be looking for: someone who's just generous and outgoing, open-hearted, um, really enjoys family. There's a family man situation here, and um, there could be a windfall. <laughs> so, we're, well, you know, as the situation is paired with or challenged by another fire energy, this could just be that. Um, there's a child involved or someone younger than you or someone with a really young heart. I would be aware if this is coupling, this would be someone who's mature, this is someone who's immature. But if this is just the situation for you and this isn't people, even though I do read court cards as people, this is why you could be dealing with a couple of um, individuals. 
These could be male or female, I find, but um, these people could be around you. These could, people also could just be chatty, um, you know, a message of love, um, sharing information here. I do find with the Knight of Swords, there could be a little bit of gossip here as well, but we don't have the page, so that's nice. It's not like um, detrimental gossip, but it could just be someone who has a lot to say with regard to what's in their heart or a soft message here, but it has to do with a heart. It has to do with something passionate <laughs> and loyalty, creative new beginnings here. So yeah, this is really nice to see here. And I want to go back for a second to the element of windfall. There could be some sort of entrepreneurial energy here as well. Someone who does really well in business, someone who does really well in self-promotion and possibly sales. And there is an element as well of uh, courage and strength. And we're going to see that here, that there's a lot of victorious energy here for you. So courage and strength could be extremely important to you. Either you're you know, behaving like this or someone around you is. This is a general reading, right? Um, or this is what you're seeking. Someone with you know, some passion and courage. And um, there's spotlight energy here as well, guys. This is very much Leo energy. So it's someone who is not only going to um, be comfortable in the spotlight, but they're put in the spotlight. Like this is someone who does well in the spotlight. Um, there could be fame here as well. Here's our knights. Yeah, I mean, these guys are kind of looking at each other. I could have them this way, I suppose. But, you know, the knight of cups down here. So I would say that an apology could be coming in or you could be um, offering an apology. Um, something having to do with the heart. But... You know, nothing of any real substance here. It's just a nice message. I think that there could be... Someone is definitely trying to share something here that they could um, could have to do with the situation. It is interesting. I'm going to go back to these guys in a second. I do want to look at the Fool in the recent past and the Three of Pentacles. So this is the recent past is a leap of faith. It's taking a leap into the unknown. It is pure faith and it is your soul's journey. You'll recognize it's a zero. It's the number energetically. It's the Om. It's the original sound of the universe. So it is interesting to see that it is around this gorgeous, effervescent, life-giving, sort of popular energy here. And then it looks like you can build from this. In the near future, you can build from this. I would be aware of a third-party situation here. Or if you're at work, you're working with others fairly on a project. If this is um, a love or relationship reading, I would just be aware that if you know, you're taking a leap of faith into something you're working on with someone else and building that you're both on the same page about. Um, because something's built to last here, but... There could be a third-party situation, so just be aware that you're both on the same page. And yeah, I'm not really getting much with these nights beyond, you know, a message, possibly an apology, and um, or even just a message of love, or just being able to hear someone out, you know, to be able to speak your truth is very important here as well, to really be honest about what this is that you're thinking and you're feeling. Um, there could be an element of shyness here as well. So guys, in the position where how others see you is this gorgeous sun energy. How others see you is someone who is creatively successful and um, warm, open, victorious. And, you know, the sun is healing. It's life-giving. This is enormous, beautiful attraction energy. This is the ultimate attraction, right? So how others see you is someone who has it all, you know, feels that you light up a room. Very much, like I said, with this Leo energy back here with this King of Wands, someone who's mature, has all the answers, has a lot of love to give, a lot of healing, a lot of hope. It is very, very nice to see that these are mirroring each other, both the sun and the star, you know, we have healing energy up here. It could be healing something that needed to be brought to the light as well. I find the sun, especially as a major and not representative in their courts, to be, you know, an exposure. There's something that's out there now. So, you know, being honest, being open, um, being in the spotlight, being in the light, bringing the light, you know, stuff like that. Like revealing, revelations for sure. This is, you know, exposure. And then this 
is this element of, you know, we're going to heal from this or we're going to heal through this. You have the seven of pentacles here in how you see yourself. So where are you going to invest your time and energy? Again, I would say if you are on a soul's journey with someone here, um, or if this is an entrepreneurial effort on your behalf, just make sure that you're putting your eggs in the baskets you want. And if you are, you know, just be aware of where you're investing. If you are coupled here or you are building on a relationship, just be really clear about being on the same page about where you're investing and how and what. Here in your hopes and fears, yeah, I do think that there's a little bit of a sentimentality here, nostalgia. I do consider the Six of Cups to be a little bit of a longing card. There could be a pining situation, could be a lost soulmate, could even be unrequited love here. But like I said, just make sure that if you are going in the same direction with someone, you're on the same page because there could be a, a, a hiccup here. Um, but otherwise, if this is a situation that you're not currently involved in, you could be longing for that or just thinking about it or you could want that in your life. And here, like I said, with Aquarius ruled, you could be dealing with an Aquarius as well as a Leo and these uh, night energies. But yeah, Aquarius energy, this is very healing. This is a hope and wish card. This is a card of victory and this is a card of pure life and clarity. So really nice to see for you here. I'm not sure what I'm going to clarify. Um, let's clarify what this Knight of Swords is bringing in. What, clarify the Knight of Swords for Cancer. Wowzers. Okay. So the Knight of Swords is bringing in a message of um, probably partnership here. 1111 is a master number. Um, it's also the card of wishes and hopes. Um, so make a wish. And um, it's stability, obviously, the four of, uh, all fours are stability. And then it brings with it the Ace of Wands, more Ace energy. So this could be a message of new hope, um, a new beginning, right? Now we have two Aces. So a new beginning, uh, a new direction, possibly around a home, uh, sharing a home. Definitely, it's, you know, I would say that this is, not necessarily, unless you're Cancer Venus, you know, and then it is a love and romance reading. But as a general reading for you, Cancer, this is absolutely gorgeous. I would say that there could even be a new opportunity around a home. Um, a new direction around a home, talking about this here. Really nice energy. Let me get out your oracles to polish off your gorgeous reading for you. This is nice to see for you for the whole month, guys. And like I said, with the two, um, with the ace here at the bottom of the deck, you know, this is a real sense of mental clarity. It really is. Something has cleared up. The clouds in your mind have cleared up here. I do want to indicate as well with the two aces, uh, there could very well be a new workplace or a home. Like I said, this, this, the four of wands is definitely the card of the home. But it's not just any home. It's not like the Ten of Pentacles or the Ten of Cups where it's like you would really, um, you're dreaming and aspiring to that. The Four of Wands is you're definitely, like you're about to move in, you're about to move up. Um, if this is a partnership, you could be talking about this with someone else or bringing it up. Really gorgeous energy. I'm so happy to see there's nothing difficult happening here for you this month. Um, or challenges that have been met in the recent past have been dissolved or discovered here, guys. Because with this fool in your recent past, it's like you really understand yourself or you really can make room for this innocent sort of um, leap of faith. Like it is a risk here, right? But it's a leap of faith. It's a calculated risk. It's it's a risk, not a cold calculation, but there's the sense of, you know, is it worth a try? It seems to be worth a try. It feels good, right? It feels good. So really interesting reading for you. Um, I think I only have one more card to get out for you. Yeah. Is that true? Yes. All right, guys, let me see here. All right, so your oracles are focused. <laughs> Yeah, I would really pay attention. This is going to be your winning strategy if you do want success here in any area, particularly in your home, finance, 
career, um, if this is love for you, or, uh, you know, love of any sort, you know, we can love our friends and family. This is a really nice elevation of the self and a great deal of healing. This is also your community. People around you will be healing as well, but focus is going to be really essential here. Pay attention to what's on your mind. Focus on the good. Um, you know, really capitalize on clarity of mind here as well. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Again, if you are pining for someone or if there's someone pining for you or if you want this type of relationship, or reunion here. It could be the matter of communication or it could just be about focusing on what it is you really want and your relationship with yourself, you know, making yourself more um, of a better partner that you want in that relationship, what you want to provide and what you're willing to accept. So elk is, uh, what is elk? Oh my goodness. <laughs> I think he's self-esteem. Yes, so elk is self-esteem. And this is really important as well. You know, knowing what you deserve is half the battle in terms of what you're going to get. So your self-talk, your communication, what you tell yourself, how you see yourself. Remember, you are seen as someone um, or others are seeing you or you can be perceived as someone who can light up a room, who can really make a difference in someone li someone's lives. So you think positively of yourself here as well. And Create that healing space or allow that healing space. And then we have observer and deep knowing. So deep knowing is some psychic energy. I'm seeing the moon a lot generally for the signs for the month of November, but I'm not seeing it in the tarot. We're seeing it in the wisdom of the oracle here. There's two moons. So you could be dealing with another cancer individual as well, or there could just be something that's extremely deep about yourself, about something that you do have your focus on, something that is lighting up <laughs> your life. Here. So there's a deep knowing, there's a deep acknowledgement, I would say psychic, intuitive, uh, instinctual energies here. And um, your dreams could be very important here as well. And then observer, observe what it is deep in your subconscious. Observe what is coming up here. Um, don't deny this. You know, observe that the deepest subconscious part of yourself to understand yourself better and understand the people around you. It could be your emotional world in general, like observe maybe even objectively or at a distance if you can, rather than say get wrapped up in it or to have it overtake you. Um, and then, you know, show it that respect, show it that reverence, having giving it room, but also, you know, making room for both, like balance, right? The sense of instinctual and then how are you gonna behave? So. Cancer, what a beautiful reading for you for the entire month of November. Thank you so much for joining me. I love reading for you. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video for your sign. Bye for now.